Give it up for our first comic of the show, Armando Torres. Hello, thank you. Special night, I got a haircut for this. Yeah, thank you. It's a big deal for me, because uh, the last time I got a haircut, they fucked it up so bad that the only solution was to shave it all off. And that's when I found out if you're bald and Mexican, you're just in a gang now. <laughs> no one told me that shit. I got done with the haircut, my barber just handed me a gun. <laughs> That's what you ordered at number nine. It's a fade and a fade, fool. What's up? <laughs> I don't like it. It messes with my image, you know? Because I don't look like a gangbanger. I look like I help gangbangers learn math. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, class, if, uh, if Hector shot at five fools, right? <laughs> but he's only got three teardrop tattoos. <laughs> and using subtraction, how many vatos got away? Hey. <laughs> In case you're wondering, the answer is two or 45 to life. You gotta simplify. You gotta. <laughs> trying to look better, be better. I gained a bunch of weight during quarantine, just like everybody. The worst of it was uh, one day I was lying in bed with my girlfriend and she goes, hey dude, I want you to lie on top of me and let go of all of your weight. <laughs> so that way I can see if you died while fucking me. <laughs> If I could crawl my way out. <laughs> and she could not. <laughs> Do you know how bad it feels to have an evacuation drill for sex? Just look some poor woman in the eye and be like, I'm sorry, I guess his dick is an OSHA compliant. I don't know. <laughs> you said you like choking, this is more efficient. Come on, it's fine. God, I'm big. <laughs> I'm so big that I know stuff that normal people shouldn't know. Like, uh, like that all furniture has a weight limit. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact you find out when you break two lawn chairs at the same barbecue. It's the worst day. <laughs> because you break the first lawn chair and everyone's like, hey man, it's okay. We can get a new lawn chair. And then you break the second lawn chair and everyone's like, you gotta make some fucking changes, dude, all right? <laughs> first of all, stop coming to barbecues right away. Believe it or not, that's actually not the fattest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Fattest thing I've ever done is a couple, couple months ago, I got on an airplane and I did the thing that everyone does when you get on an airplane. You find out where you're sitting, you make eye contact with the person you're sitting next to. Uh, I did that, I got on the plane, found my seat, I made eye contact with the dude and I watched him go, oh God, no! I'm so fat, I struck fear into the heart of another man. The closer I got, the more upset he got. Like, I took a step forward, his water started shaking like Jurassic Park. I take another step forward, he's sweating. I'm sweating different reasons, but still. But right before I sit down, I feel somebody tap me on the shoulder and they go, uh, excuse me, sir, but your seat has actually been changed to account for our flight's weight distribution. Yeah. Apparently, airplanes are a lot like fucking lawn chairs. And they don't let you sit on a second one. They just go, you're on the no-fly list and the no-barbecue list. Get out of here. Get, go. I'm 25 years old, which, uh, oh, yeah, wow. That's great. I got, I got to see three people get excited and watch the rest of you stop respecting my opinions. Sick. <laughs> 25 is a weird age because you're definitely adult, but you're young enough to still fuck with older people's heads, you know? Great example, uh, 25 years old, I don't remember 9-11, all right? 
Yeah, it's crazy. Here's the thing, I don't remember the event. I do remember the day. Because on 9-11, I was in kindergarten and my friend Bradley shit his pants. <laughs> and so they sent Bradley home. And then two hours later, they sent everybody home. And my first thought was, how bad did Bradley shit his pants? <laughs> and for Bradley, that's his own personal 9-11. <laughs> It was Bradley's day where he's like, stop making fun of me, it was an inside job. <laughs> Thank you. That one was for the YouTube documentaries, what's up? <laughs> I really love stand-up, it's fun. It's uh, the funnest job I've ever had, and I've had a lot of jobs. Uh, when I first moved to Los Angeles, I didn't have a house and I didn't have a job, and I solved both of these problems by becoming a live-in babysitter. Uh, which, by the way, babysitting is a crazy job because you're basically a bodyguard for a baby. <laughs> and you're like, who's trying to kill you, baby? And the baby's like, me, ha ha ha! <laughs> what is that, Windex? I'ma drink it, yeah! <laughs> My job was so easy, too. I just had to pick up a kid named Chris from school, take him home, that's it. That's all I gotta do. First day I go to pick him up, though, he sees me, he starts running towards me, but the teacher stops him and goes, hey, Chris, why don't you wait with the other kids? And Chris goes, nah, -uh, I'm with him, points to me. And the teacher goes, oh, that's your dad. And if you're a normal person in an uncomfortable situation, you just let that shit go. But that's not what Chris did. Chris stopped running and he turned around and he went, that's not my dad. That's Armando. He just doesn't have a house. Have you ever been roasted by a seven-year-old? I can't let him get away with that shit. It's like, yeah, that's Chris. He doesn't have a fucking ride. What's up? <laughs> you guys are a really good crowd. <laughs> Before I go, I want to connect a little bit. Uh, I just want to get to know you, especially since we're taping this. So this is going to live in infamy. Uh, what, what's your name? Mike. Mike. Mike, good to meet you. And I, again, I want to remind you, this is, this is taped. This is forever. So I'm going to ask you a question, and you need to be completely honest with me, okay, Mike? Mike, when the one... Hold on. I'm gonna, Mike, when... <sighs> Mike, when was the last time that you shit your pants? <laughs> Around three years old? You're full of shit, dude. <laughs> right? Ooh, look at Mike. I never shit my pants as an adult. Ooh, awesome. You think you're fucking better than me. That's the problem. Ooh. I shit my pants right now. <laughs> you remember it? Here's the thing. I try to ask people all the time, like, when's the last time you shit your pants? And dudes always try to pretend like they can't remember or that it was when they were a little baby. All right? September 13th, 2020. Yeah. I got most of the way through the year and was like, wow, that year sucked, can't get any worse. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened, Mike. I was, in, uh, I was in Vegas, I was here. I was in Vegas and I was driving back home to LA. Uh, and if you've ever made that drive, then you know that there is nothing in the middle. So that's what makes it worse, Mike, is I didn't just ship my pants, I ship my car, okay? <laughs> I ship my car. I shit my car, I pull over, I go to a gas station, I walk up to the guy and I'm like, hey man, I gotta use your restroom. And he goes, oh, what's wrong? And I go, I just shit my pants. And he goes, hey guy, it happens to the best of us. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Best of us are the best of us because they can literally and figuratively keep their shit together. 
The best of us are the best of us because when you go, hey man, when was the last time you shit your pants? They go, I don't know, when I was fucking three because my name is Mike and I'm better than you. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, everybody. I'm Armando Torres.